Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about scored quizzes. Scored quizzes are a great way to check the respondent's level of understanding in almost any subject. To create a scored quiz, use the best WordPress Quizmaker plugin, as it gives you all the features that are important. There is a huge variety of options which are important for making engaging quizzes, which at the same time can help you to evaluate the participants. The process of creating a scored quiz is super easy. Just follow all the steps that I will show you during this video. Scored quizzes are mainly used in teaching, so they are used for checking the learner's knowledge in many fields. Usually, questions are not only, for example, about vocabulary or reading or listening. Sometimes teachers combine all this together. But how to differentiate the knowledge of the participants in a specific field? Very easy. Divide the questions into categories. So first of all, let's go and create one. To save our time, I've already created an example. Write the title of the category, save the changes and close. Now let's create your questions. You'll find the main features there. Again, click on Add New button, but for making the process easier, I've already created one. Write down the questions here. You can choose the type of the question you want to use. Here are all the possible types, but be aware that using the checkbox option, the system will automatically stop some features. For example, you can show a message in case of right or wrong answers. Now, Choose the right answer, give them a point. To give the question weight, just tick on the question weight option in the question section. Specify the weight of the question. It isn't connected with the answer point. It will be multiplied with chosen answer weight, but it will work in the case of calculating the scores by weight or by points. You can use this option for advanced questions when you may need some extra points. While creating the questions, insert them into the specific category. So the question will be grouped into categories and when the participants answer the question, they will have the opportunity uh, to see from which category the question is. At the end of the quiz, you can share the results by category based on their answers. But we will talk about this feature a little bit later. Of course, our video is about scoring, but here we have an option for not scoring the questions. You may use them in special cases for specific questions which are not for evaluation but for information gathering or feedback. Just activate no influence to score option. In the settings section, there are various options for you. We can see that there is also an option for us to share messages in case of right or wrong answers. It is an effective way of encouraging the participants. If you have decided the points of the answers, you can write them in right message space so that the participants will know their score during the test. But do not forget to activate show correct answer option from the settings section, otherwise the messages will not be showing during the quiz. Now we are moving to the quizzes section. Again, I will show you an already created example. Write the title of your quiz here. Then, add the questions one by one. In the settings section, we can see all the possible features that may help us. For example, you can activate show question counter option so that the participants will know how many questions they need to answer. As I have said before, you will need to activate show correct answer option in case you want to share messages during the quiz. Then choose how you want to show the messages during the quiz, on the result page or both. Of course, you remember that we have divided the questions into categories. Activate show question category option. So it will be easier for the participants to see from which category the question is. The participants may want to know exactly how many questions they have answered so far and by that count their points in their minds and understand how far they are from the passing score and how many questions they need to answer from earning enough points. You can enable live progress bar. It can show the progress in numbers and in percentage as well. You may confuse it with the progress bar, but there is a difference between them. The live progress bar is shown during the whole quiz, 
Meanwhile, the progress bar is shown only on the result page, that is, at the end of the quiz. In this video, I will show you two variants of scoring. As we have already discussed, not all the answers can have weight, but also the questions. Go to the result settings, where you will see calculating the score option. Now, as you can see, it gives you two variants. You can choose either by correctness or by weights or points. Choosing by correctness, the system will calculate the score by a percentage based on correct answers. You can add the points while creating the questions. You can make use of the display score option to show the quantity of the question answered correctly. But if you choose calculating the score by weight points, it will calculate the score based on answer points and question points. To understand the average result of the whole participants, you can use the statistical average option, which will show the average score of the quiz again at the end. This is again an important option for teachers because they will understand whether the quiz was succeeded or not, or it will give the teacher some kind of understanding about the level of knowledge. We can see that there is an ability for you to activate the result message option and show the final result. You can choose from the message variables which text you want to use. For that, go to the general settings, message variables, copy the variable message and pass it into the result message space. You are allowed to pass more than one message. In case you have decided that you want to use the checkbox, then go and activate strong calculation of checkbox answer score option. But be sure that you have saved all the changes. If this option is enabled, the system will calculate the answer 1 or 0, so that if the user has answered wrong, he or she will get 0 points. But if this option is disabled, the system will calculate the answer as a percentage. You may think we've already discussed all the available features. No. There is another feature for sending the participants their results. You can show an interval message, which again will be based on their scores. Add the minimal and maximal scores and the text based on them. For example, if you are testing the participants' level of English, you can share it based on their scores. Besides the average results based on the participants' answers, a teacher, of course, wants to see the participants' particular scores. In case it is not an online test, students usually write their names, surnames on the paper. Just use the information field feature and you won't need to guess by their emails whose answers you are checking. For activating this option, go to the user data section. And also a little life hack for you. If you want your test to be shown only for your students and no one else, add a specific field. For creating or adding them, just click on the custom fields. I would like to mention that all the features are available in Pro version. Be sure that you have installed and activated the Pro version so that you can use all these options in your quiz and check the participants' knowledge based on their scores. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon!